What's going on, everybody? All right, this is going to be a real quick video. Uh, I'm driving down the road and trying to get home, go somewhere. But I want to throw this out there. Um, if you've been following national news, you may have seen on uh, national news where two prison guards uh, were killed in Georgia and two escapees escaped uh, prison bus and have been on the run for the last two or three days up until yesterday. Um, you know, they've carjacked several people, you know, done all kinds of crazy crap. And these guys were nut jobs, trust me. Um, another part of it was one of them was actually from my grandparents and my mother's hometown in Tennessee, in Lewisburg, Tennessee. But they were, the fact that they were caught, but who they were caught by. Now, the police had surrounded them and everything. They escaped again from a vehicle. Uh, they wrecked a vehicle and ran off in the woods, and so the police were searching for them. Well, they popped up on somebody's property that was an armed civilian. Guess what that armed civilian did? He held them at gunpoint until the police got there. Now, I'd be willing to bet that Fox, NBC, CBS, none of those national stations will tell you that. But I'm here to tell you that because they did say it on our local stations. And it's pure fact that an armed civilian is who actually captured these guys. There's a huge reward out for them because, well, like I said, they've killed two prison guards. They held a family, uh, a, a wife and a husband, hostage for a few hours before they stole their car. So these two thugs, um, you know, flat out trash people that need to be behind bars and stay behind bars for the rest of their lives, which hopefully they will. Um, I don't know, Georgia have the death penalty? They ought to. So anyway, um, that's my little rant about that because I know the national news is not going to tell you that. That the, you know, that a civilian is actually the one that held them at gunpoint until the cops got there. And then the cops did their thing. Then blue line. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to throw this up there and I wanted to draw your attention to it because I guarantee you the national news won't. But I did. <laughs> So it's Patrick Mitchin Outdoors. Later.